What's going on, everybody? Oh, uh, what are we talking about today? Oh, yeah. So I was recording uh, the latest episode of Movie Time with Blake, and the conversation was about anticipated movies of 2023, according to Letterboxd, and Bo is Afraid came up. And I realized and found out during that episode while we were recording it that they released a trailer yesterday, and I totally missed it. How did I miss it? I, what's wrong with me? New Year's not working out that great. I'm missing a lot of stuff and I'm late on many things. So I deeply apologize. But this is definitely a movie that I am eagerly anticipating. I am a huge Ari Aster fan, recent fan. During lockdown, that's when I finally decided to catch up on a lot of A24 movies. And that's when I finally allowed myself to watch Hereditary and Midsommar for the first time. And boy, my mind was blown. And now I understand why those movies are so popular. And I understand the new love of these hybrid horror, elevated horror type of movies that everyone is falling in love with. Midsommar is probably one of my most favorite A24 movies of all time now that I've seen it. And I've been waiting to see what Ari has next in store for us. So Bo is afraid looks like and sounds like something that's going to be right up my alley. And uh, Joaquin Phoenix, of course, can't wait to see what kind of performance he puts in. So let's check out this trailer for Bo is Afraid, shall we? Okay, what's wrong with his face? For what your daddy passed down to you. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa. Is that like a... Is that him? A younger version? <laughs> Hi, Carrot. It's Mom. I'm just calling to say that I'm so, so, so excited to see you tomorrow. All right, Your he's taking some I sort of medication. Okay. I love you. Okay, bye, sweetie. I love you. Are you at the airport? I'm on my way. I just... It's not safe, is it? What do you think I should do? I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Oh, is he like a recluse? Or is it just crazy outside? Oh my God, what's happening? Welcome back. Hey, Nathan Lane. I like the music. What is going on here? It definitely feels more comedic, unlike his other two stuff. Whoa. Hundreds will become thousands. Your adventures will continue for years and years. I should get home. I know. Holy cow, this is really nutty. Well, wow, okay. What a trailer. There's a lot of stuff in here that reminds me of other movies that I've seen in the past. You know, a little bit of maybe being John Malkovich, um, maybe a little bit of uh, Eternal Sunshine for the Spotless Mind. It's It looks like a movie about a huge mind fuck, really. It looks like he's either dreaming or conjuring these things in his imagination and it's causing him to be afraid of whatever he's coming up with. Or maybe they're 
being forced into reality every time he imagines something or dreams up something. It definitely shows that the world outside of him is not correct. There's something going on for sure. Or is that, again, another figment of his imagination? It looks like he's going through a journey of different parts of his life. Definitely has some mommy issues with some attachment problems, probably, or overprotectiveness and whatever the case is. But I feel like this is definitely going to be an exploration of one psyche and one mind. And I don't know. I think Joaquin Phoenix is the right person for that. It does, like I said during the trailer, it does feel very different. Like it's not as ominous and not as very uh, fear inducing. You know, you had Hereditary that was very scary and very creepy. You had Midsommar that also had that same sense. This one looks a little bit more upbeat, I guess, in a way, a little bit more comedic. Um, I don't know. I, again, it feels like there's a lot of different elements in this movie. You know, I, I get a little Walter Mitty in there. You know, it's just like, I don't know. It's a journey, I guess, in one's psyche fears coming to fruition, overcoming them, living life in the real world. I don't know what the case is. But, but to me, it looks nutty enough that I think I'm going to like it. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. What about all of you? Is this movie kind of up your alley? Is this kind of too weird for a lot of you folks out there? Are you a fan of Ari's other movies like Midsommar and Hereditary? Again, very different from those two from what it seems like. But it does feel like it fits the A24 mold and I'm all down for that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about this if this is something that you are looking forward to catching. As always, if you are brand new to this channel, do us a favor. It only takes a couple of seconds, doesn't cost you a thing. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching. Stay cool, stay classy, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, peace out, y'all.